Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be bringing you a short and uh, kind of funny, but... Uh you know, easy enough tutorial. Uh, this is actually asked, and I thought about it, and I was like, well, you know, I know how to do this, but several people don't know how to do this or even know that it's possible. So I figured I would cover it. Anyways, I'm going to be showing you all, at least for the Xbox 360, how you can make a backup of a backup. So I've already covered, you know, backing up your original games and all that several times, flashing drives, burning them, all that good stuff. I have a full playlist of Xbox 360 modding on my channel. However, some people might want to know if you already have a copied backup of a game, is there a way that you can back that up? just by conventional means, or do you have to get an 800 drive or anything like that? And this is something I do as well, too, if I need to make another copy of a game I have, and I just don't want to pull out my 800 drive and hook that up and rip the original again. So this is what you need to do. So first off, you need to have a compatible burner. Now, this is more if you have an XGD3 game. If you fully burn your XGD3 games, you need to have a burner that is compatible with reading them. Now, if you have a... Uh, burner that you use the burner max payload tool on i have not used that yet but if you have an i has b model flash drive or if you have the sony um optiarch drives opteric i believe that's it if you have the uh, sony opteric drives uh that can read a disc at uh 8.14 gigabytes then you should be good to go that's for xgd3 for xgd2 you can just use any burner but then after that what you need to do you just need to grab image burn. This is literally all you do. You go over here. You go over to create image file from disk. You select where your disk is. So as you can see, I have my disk right here. Uh, the size is right there. So this one, my XGD3 games. And you select where you want to put it. So I'm just going to keep it in the destination right there, the default one. And you hit read. That's it. Now, if you have an XGD3 title, as I said, you are going to have to grab a burner that can successfully read 100% of the disc that you burned, but if you have an XGD2 game, you can really use any burner or reader, that's fine. After that, once that's done, after like 15 minutes or so, all you need to do, I have tutorials on this as well, grab ABGX360, throw your ISO into there, make sure everything checks out just fine, just launch it, make sure it patches right, and then after that, you can make another copy if you want, or just have that copy on hand. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope this helped some of you all out.